afternoon. I'm Maria Monteferrante. And I'm Peter Garrett. Welcome to another edition of Montreal Inside Out. On today's show, we'll unravel the mystery of a common frustration amongst city dwellers. The traffic jam. We'll step into Montreal's Traffic Control Centre to see how high technology and video help you when you're in the driver's seat. Maria? And we'll take you to the streets to discover street art in both traditional and avant-garde styles. Whether it's a lithograph of old Montreal or Art Deco on a cotton t-shirt, stay with us and meet some of the talented people who've chosen the streets as their gallery right after this. Up next, a look at street artists. Whoever coined the phrase, the best things in life are free, must have been a frequent visitor to Montreal. Maria? Just ask any one of the thousands of people who enjoy wandering through parts of the city, where they can sample, free of charge, some of the sites that make a summer in Montreal one of the best. And working right in those settings are the people who capture those sites on canvas, the street artists. Here with a report on street art in Montreal is Carolyn Van Vlardigan. The streets of Montreal are filled with interesting and lively things to be seen throughout the summer. One of the most pleasing of these, of course, is the work of the city's many street artists. Every spring they reappear bringing their canvases and paints, ready to bring back to life a few of Montreal's scenes after a long, cold winter. While the work of these artists is appealing to even the most seasoned veteran of Montreal, their city scenes and portraits are mainly aimed at the tourists who want to capture a bit of their stay here to bring home with them. The tools that the artists work with can be as varied as their styles. Some choose to work with oils or watercolors, while others prefer the effects of pastels or perhaps just pencil. Whatever they use, the results are often enchanting enough to make even the busiest of Montrealers stop and take a look. Street artists can mostly be found in some of the city's more well-known areas, like Rue Saint-Denis, downtown on the corner of McGill and St. Catherine, or in old Montreal at Place Jacques Cartier. And with the great number of artists who work in the streets of Montreal, there's always a style to suit everyone's tastes. For the artists, a love of Montreal and of art is not enough to begin selling their work. Before any artist can work on the streets, he or she must obtain a permit from the city of Montreal and be 16 years of age or older. And even meeting the age requirements and applying for a permit are no guarantee that the interested artist can carve out a place on a Montreal sidewalk to show off their creations. First, they must bring in some examples of their artwork and present it to a committee made up of four critics. It is only after the committee has accepted the artwork to be of a high enough caliber that the chosen artists are allowed to set up their materials on the street. That is, if he or she pays a $37 fee to receive a permit, of course. Ah, but every passion has its price. Once the artists receive a permit, there's every chance for them, young or old, to aim their talents at the prospects of a very successful summer of painting and selling. One artist who's done precisely that is Lucien Sommier, and he can be found in Old Montreal on Rue Saint-Amable with his artwork, welcoming both tourists and local Montrealers to come and take a look. How many hours do you spend here during a typical week? Uh, well, I can say a day. It's uh, start from, uh, for me, it starts about 9.30 in the morning and uh, sometimes uh, we go uh, one, two in the morning. Let's take one of your pictures yes. right now. Yes. Why don't you pull this up to the camera and explain yes. what uh, is involved in that. Uh, first, uh, we do the sketch of this uh, typical uh, one. Uh, we, sometimes we sit, sometimes we use our own photograph and we sketch, make the composition. After we have it uh, photographed and put on a lithograph press, you know, it's a mechanic process to print just the black, and then uh, we had the color over, it's a watercolor paper, and we had by hand the color sitting on the place, if we have time, and sometimes we do the color home, and that's called lithograph and watercolor by hand. While in old Montreal, we also discovered a new style of street art airbrush painting, and its popularity here can be attributed to three young people who enjoy their work as much as we enjoyed watching them. The airbrush was developed about a hundred years ago, used mostly in coterie touching. 
recently it's been used for um, for different things like airbrushing t-shirts. It's very popular across the states in the tourist centers and uh, I believe they do it in Toronto also, but they don't do it in Montreal. So when we were in, on vacation last summer in Provincetown, we decided that we should bring it back to Montreal and do it because it would work. And it's working. Airbrushes.